Are you looking for a build or a weapon or a loadout to one shot the Archon Hunt bosses in the Archon Hunt weekly? My friend, you are in the right place. Pablo, let's go. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, Hank by Gaming is here with you, another video about uh, Warframe today, guys, video is gonna be so amazing like every other with videos, today I'm gonna show you a loadout, how to one shot these Arkham bosses, no problem guys, easy peasy, but before we go, I wanna say thank you so much guys for your amazing support, and I wanna say the, the Thanos that was saying, Hank just show us the build, don't wait like 6 minutes, or 2 minutes, or 3 minutes to show us the build, that's not happening because I explained to you the build, I never deliver a build that I don't explain to you how it's working, and it's not happening in this channel, so guys my friend, uh, let's go in the game, First of all, you know, what, is Ar what is Archons? The Archons, there is three Archons. There is the Borel, Amar, and uh, Nira. The Borel, let's call him the tank. The Amar is the, even if he's lucky, uh, the Amar is the offensive, and the Nira is the utility. So, that's how it is, but based on the shards. Alright, so, but why, what is the, so, the damage reduction, my friend, is the power within these Archon bosses. They have something very new called, it's not very new, it's been used, I think, before, in, uh, I think, uh, I don't know, in some bosses. So, certain uh, enemies possess unique damage reduction calculations separate from armor and, and source of pure damage reduction. Usually, this unique damage reduction scales based on the weapon uh, average damage per second. Do you know what this means? Average damage per second means the damage you're doing per second. It's not the first hit you're doing. Keep, keep that in mind. So more specifically burst DPS. So you burst yourself and pop, 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 not working. So if you're taking a melee weapon and you think you're gonna be, for example, Cronan with high speed or taking Sifan with high speed or Glaive and you're gonna keep in no, it's not gonna work, my friend. As this is adaptive, da adaptive damage, scaling, damage reduction or damage attenuation, the game calculates DPS typically as you can see what is uh, going on. So what is technically, what is this? This is, my friend, a way to connect your strong weapons to the boss. So if you bring so strong weapon, for example, any weapon, and you fail, you fail to one-shot the guy, to one-shot this Archon, that's it. He adapts to your damage. So you need to wait for him to calm down so you shot him again the amount what you shot already. So you have one shot to hit the boss with the before, before he become adaptive. Adap adaptive. <laughs> adaptive. You get the idea, my friend. So, now what you're thinking is, Hank, so I should take a sniper, right? Because that's how we do it in the idol on Han. Yes and no. The thing is with snipers, they're very good. They have high multi-shot and so on. So you go headshot, multi-shot. And... But snipers, they go, for example, with three, four hits. They don't have enough multi-shot to one-shot this guy. They don't have enough multi-shot to one-shot guy so what you need here my friend you need some kind of shotgun because the shotguns my friend have a high multi shot because when you hit a shotgun with alt fire it's good like Pwah! you know those all uh, projectiles and uh, particles the guy man likes time told me it's not practical it's pa particles because i made a mistake <laughs> so there you go so yeah guys what shotgun we're gonna be using is it soma is it corinth is it heck is it uh, what is shotgun we're gonna be using we're gonna use the highest multi shot of them all is the Kuva Hack. But the Kuva Hack, my friend, it has a small problem. It doesn't use the scattered justice of multi shot and justice. I wish we can use this one, but we can. So we're gonna use the Kuva Hack, of course, and gonna get the build and everything. Don't worry, my friend. The normal fire of this weapon is not what we care about. What we care about, my friend, is look at this. Let's go here, Alter Fire, bullets, uh, builds, for example, Al uh, Alter Fire shoots four shots spontaneously, so, so on. This weapon deals uh, puncture damage, which we want because it affects these uh, bullets, and we need radiation on it. Perfect, everything is going very well. Advantage, very high statue chance, and so on. Normal attack, above average crit chance, above average crit rate multiplier. This is, looks like any uh, other shotgun. But when we look at the alt fire, right here, my friend, highest multi shot. So there is no beyond and highest average number of crits per multi shot. So we are ready, right? Okay. So we got the weapon, my friend. 
The weapon is ready. That's what we need. Correct? Correct. So now we need the weapon only. It will not do its job. To be honest, you will, for example, if you use only the weapon with normal, your normal loadout, it's okay. You're going to slank him. Very nice hit. You're going to make a very good hit, my friend. Trust me. But it's not a one shot. So what you need here, you need to headshot him. So how we boost the damage of this multi shot? You need a headshot. You need invisibility, stealth, multipliers, and you need a buff. You need three things to add to this. So what we're gonna do? You can use self stealth frame like Ivara, like uh, uh, Ash, like Loki. That's totally up to you. Any frame goes invisible, even um, Octavia. Any frame goes invisible, stealth multiplier. So this is one. So we got the weapon, we got the stealth multiplier. Now what we need? We need a buff. What you, what 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 the buffs you have? You have either you're gonna be using Eclipse from Mirage, or you're gonna be using the Roar from uh, Rhino. That's totally up to you. I don't think there is a difference between them at the moment. Yes, and one status, one damage, blah blah blah. So whatever. So I'm not gonna go in deep in that. So use Eclipse or uh, Roar. I would highly recommend you use Eclipse, my friend. That's my own opinion because I love the ability and so on. So what's missing now? It's missing your headshot, stealth multiplier, and you got the, the damage. Perfect. So now, my friend, I'm going to open just this little program here I have. So I can show you what I'm talking uh, about right here in the testing area. So this is level 175 Heavy Corrupted Blue Gunners. So the normal fire, which is this one. Look, I'm clicking like normal click, like every day thing you're doing, normal everything, right? There you go. Normal click. Kaboom. See that? Kaboom. There you go. There you go. Easy peasy. That's how it is. Click right. But this is not how we gonna one shot the guy. How we gonna one shot him is with this. Look at the mouse. You see that? The click inside the mouse roll. There you go. That's how we gonna do it. Let's try it on this guys. Kaboom. Dead. There you go. Kaboom. Dead. Not dead. Hold on. Kaboom. Dead. There you go. Dead. Alright. But we're not gonna test this here, my friend. And of course we're not gonna test this in steel pad because it's not like not steel pad build. Steel can work for steel pad. Where are we gonna go, my friend? I'm gonna show you it in action. In action, my friend. Everything in action. So where are we gonna go fight the the mob? We're gonna fight them in uh, of course in the Archon Hunt. So let's go. This is the best place to test a weapon that is built for this uh, test. But like if I take it to steel path, it's gonna, it gonna kill, yes, but you need to see it to one shot the Archon. So seeing is believing, my friend. Right? Let's go. Now keep yourself buffed. Be careful not to get hit with electricity, heat, and so on, as you are an invisible guy. And you know, trading stealth for weakness is always and will always be. So be careful. So let's approach the boss. Okay, the boss is 100 meter. Our buff is ready. Very simple. We're gonna approach him, skip cinematics, operator, Madurai, and kaboom, one shot in the head, and he's ready. Now spam melee. Spam, 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 spam your melee. So you push him away. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Up, you're ready. Stealth again, and run towards uh, the boss. Now he's gonna have the mechanic of he's gonna send you to two spots. To get to different devices and that's what we're gonna do even his uh, minions i'm gonna show you even one shotting those uh, minions with this loadout all right okay 170 meters you're gonna see you're gonna send me to two different location here we do that up to different location we're gonna go to b and we are approaching uh, b go now be careful you don't want to run out of invisibility here you go recasting glaving these minions around Putting back our weapon and charging and double and he's dead. One shot, my friend. Easy, easy. No, run. Don't don't fight those enemies and waste time. Always keep running. Do your objective. Don't waste time fighting them. At that we lead to probably you gonna fail because guys, if you die, there is no revive in this mission. It is a condition. So if you die, that's it, my friend. No uh, worry, you will just restart the mission, no problem at all. 
right so we put our next uh, first advisor and then we head to a there you go. always keep your buffs up you have plenty of energy keep yourself in stealth mode all right easy things to do keep it simple and like relax oh, here we go we're just gonna glaive them doesn't matter what we're you just kill them and dead so these are really doesn't really matter so just kill them take the device and go on your way finish your boss fight simple as that and as i mentioned don't fight these mobs really it gets very tense and if you die you will fail your first phase and you will you will have to do the whole mission go so now the boss encounter is unlocked and we're gonna head to it all right we're reaching the boss encounter now 70 meter refreshing our buffs and now be careful the first phase you need to be careful from the first phase my friend as he will be casting this what just be casted right now there you go try to stay stay in the void and stay uh, near him there you go aim at his head and wait for the phase to finish simple as that let him finish his thing and we are oh we're not dead not dead yet and now we need to figure I mean, which one is key from this? As we failed in the time. Okay. Now you gotta be careful. I think if we stay high enough like this, it's gonna be fine. I oh, know it's not fine. Now be careful from, from the shield gate. Okay, this is him. This is the guy. So I'm gonna boost myself. And kaboom, he's dead. And take the shot. Easy, easy. Simple as that. You don't need to freak out. There is no problem to it. Just keep it simple. There you go. He's dead. And you go for... Uh, you can kill these if you really want to. But you don't have... He's already... He's summoned them. So, technically, you don't need to reach this part. Okay? You can just hit him when you have the shot. And that's it. Simple as right track you're not gonna get another shard because i already did this before the video so, now it is time for me to show you the build but i will not show you the build in the relay where we're gonna spawn now i need to go to show it to you in my orbiter because uh sam would see the helmet buff and I, of course i need to predict this i'm gonna say oh you have a 200 critical chance or you have multi-shot multipliers or so on so we need to clear that first you know the buff someone always will be there we go. Extra delay. Let's go. I'm gonna go to all helm. First thing first, before the build, boys. Before the build, I need to go show you in the helmet system what is the buff I have. I'm talking about this one, guys. The uh, invigoration buff. So we clear this as the uh, first thing. It resetted. It resetted. So, okay, I'm gonna tell you what is it about. This, this buff. I don't know how I can see it, my friend. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Ability duration plus two energy rate. I think this is clear. And now we can proceed to the build, my friend. All right. So, first thing first, uh, Ash Prime. This is the build I am using in Ash Prime. Corrosive Projection, Power Drift, Continuity, Rolling Guard, Constitution, Equilibrium, Augur Message, Narrow Minded, Trans Fortitude, Amars, uh, Hatred. Uh, Arcane Rage for on headshot, a 15% chance for 180% damage to primary weapons. If you fail the first one, I, I doubt that. Arcane Energize, my friend, for energy, of course. We're using Eclipse from, uh, uh, of course, uh, Mirage Helmet uh, ability. 361 duration, 185% strength. You are ready to go. All right. So, moving to the weapon. So, this is the weapon we've been using. And the build, of course. Galvanized Hell, uh, Primate Point Blank. Uh, and Primed Charge Shell for electricity, Vigilante Armaments for multi-shot, 20% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons, Ravage for critical damage, this is my Raven critical damage and plus multi-shot and minus weapon recoil, and, uh, Incendiary Coat for heat, critical declaration for 
200% uh, critical chance and minus fire rate. If you go down here, I am building a full radiation as the boss is weak to full radi to radiation. If you don't have this uh, ribbon, my friend, it's not a problem. You can throw different things. If you want, you can uh, throw, for example, if you want to throw Vigilante uh, uh, favor for extra enhanced critical hits. But I would highly recommend you use the another layer of cold. There you go. Chilling reload, 60, 60 cold and 40% reload speed. This is what I highly recommend, my friend, for you. If you don't want any of that, you can always, like, for example, boost the heat as well. That's totally uh, up to you. You can play around with it. So, yeah. You can use even a uh, galvanized savvy for set a chance and direct damage uh, type effect in the target for 20 seconds. I can have the, you don't really need to worry about that, but it helps. So, so. There you go. Or you can use the cold because the boss is affected with cold too. So, if you don't have the ribbon, this, what you see now, is the first option to switch it with. So, primal shielding grasp is the way to go. If you don't have Primate Shielding Grasp, you can use Normal sh Shielding Grasp. If you don't have, you can use Shielding Reload. That's the two options you have. If you don't have any of that, put Vigilante Favor. If you don't have any of that, bro, you need to get a Ribbon. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. So, yeah, I'm using Soft Hands for minus 40% Weapon Recoil, because Weapon have some Recoil. And 40% minus 40% uh, Spread, so the bullets are a bit more compact, so they don't spread so much to me miss his head so it's gonna be a uh, direct hit on the head we're using uh glaive prime here is the build by the way there you go all right so we're using madurai madurai we're using it for one reason for void strike first uh, void strike first ability consumes all energy to increase damage for eight seconds deals 10 percent additional damage 100 percent so you're gonna have 1000 percent extra damage so madurai is a way to go you can play without madurai but it's like we want to one shot you can risk it you you want to one shot we're using helios prime for this vigilante setup vigilante armaments vigilante supplies vigilante offense vigilante fervor what it does is 20 percent chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons and this is what you want my friend and you are ready to go all right what's left for me to show you guys is nothing you're ready you can one shot this Archon uh, bosses. What's left for me, guys, to say? Thank you so much for your amazing support. You've been so amazing to me. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Thank you so much. And probably Bablu gonna do something to these uh, Archons after we make this video because you know we made Stianax. He decided to nerf Stianax. So let's see what. Don't blame the content creators. Blame the D. <laughs> if they nerf something, guys, I have nothing to do with this. I'm just using the in-game uh, mods and so on. So yeah, we're gonna see. So guys, don't forget sub, comment, and like. We have a Discord link on the description. Feel free to join us on uh, Discord. What's left for me to say is enjoy the build and peace.